In today's video, we will be creating this makeup look. Let me tell you, this is a no foundation makeup look. So in this video, we will be creating this look without using foundation. And if you are a beginner, how to do that easy eye makeup look which will make you look presentable. So keep on watching. So the first thing to understand when we are not using foundation is color correcting. As you can simply see, I have a lot of dark circles over here. So if I directly go in with the concealer, be it my shade or lighter, it will turn grey after some time. So it's very very important that I hide it first. So for that, I'm going to use a darker shade of concealer. This is from Too Faced in the shade Warm Sand. All the products will be linked down below. Now it's not necessary that you use this particular product. The idea is to use any concealer which is one to two shade darker hai for color correcting of dark circles, meaning pigmentation I'm talking about. I'm going to apply a little bit under my eyes since you see pigmentation there. So I'm going to just apply tiny dots. I don't need too much of product here. And since I have pigmentation around my mouth also, so a little bit here. And that's it. Now with the help of a beauty blender, make sure your beauty blender is damp, meaning there should no water be dripping out of it. And start to blend it out. Very, very lightly, just under the eye, blend it out and also around the mouth, just dabbing motions. So this is what it looks like. Let me just do the other side of camera and come back to you. Now since the pigmentation part is done, now I'm going to take a concealer which is half a shade or maybe one shade lighter than my skin tone. Do not get confused. Abhi the jo mene kya tha, wo light darker concealer use kya tha. To usse kya hua tha? Basically, jo humari pigmentation thi, wo cut down hui thi. Now I'm going for lighter so that the areas I want to highlight also comes out and my face looks a more brighter, right? So I'm using L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 314 Beige and I'm going to apply it on the areas wherever I need more coverage and color corrected basically. So I'm applying it here. I'm going to also apply a little bit here around the mouth. And to balance the color, on the center of the forehead and here as well a little to give a lift to the face and obviously can you, you can see that I have pigmented eyelids as well so a little on the eyelids as well so that's all we do not need foundation just this I'm gonna blend it all out now I'm going back to the same beauty blender and just starting to dab it all through just very light pressure dab 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 also on the eyelids very lightly keep dabbing it here as well and also whatever is left on the rest of the face so that it doesn't look uneven so you can see a difference by yourself I'm going to do the other side of camera and come back to you guys. Now you can see the pigmentation is all gone. It's looking quite blended. But what I'm going to do next is set it with a compact powder. Now since we are going for something which is like no foundation, we can go with a compact powder. For which I'm using this one from Pat Cosmetics in the shade 02. This is what it looks like. I'm going to take this brush, this is a fluffy brush and I'm going to just dip it into it, dust off the excess. Now it's very important to make sure that there is no existing creasing that you're setting. So just dab everything under the eyes, then take your powder, use the extra and just start to set it. And this will, this will also give a little bit of coverage. So just under my eyes and on my eyelids and if you want you can go all over the face also. That's about it. You can see a difference on both the sides. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Very lightly dab it. Also on the eyelids. Focusing a little extra on the inner corner. Here. 
the pressure needs to be very light removing the extra and that's it now i'm taking my blush palette it's not actually a blush palette but it's like a 3 in 1 palette from seri cosmetics it has a contour to blush and highlighter so for a beginner it's perfect i'm going to mix these two blushes right here dust off the excess and just add some blush over here now i'm i'm sure sabko pata hai blush is something that adds color to the face just blending it through like so dab 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 and then blend it that's it see how fresh and alive my face looks repeating the same thing here now before moving forward to the eye makeup i'm going to take my setting spray this is from kalaba shake the bottle and just set my face up and then do the eye makeup So now we are moving forward to the eye makeup. One product, if you are a beginner, I recommend you to have in your kit are multi pots. Now, what are multi pots? Basically, this is from Love Earth, but you get from a lot of brands. So I'll link a few for you in the description box below. So what they does is you can use it as a lipstick. As a blush and as an eye base, meaning अगर आपको लगता है कि आपका जो आई शेडो पैलेट है इतनी पिगमेंटेड नहीं है और यू नॉट गेटिंग द राइट पिगमेंट यू कैन यूज दीज प्रोडक्ट्स आई शो यू हाउ सो वट एम डू इज दिस इज इन द शेड वॉच मी स्ले सो दिस इज लाइक अ वेरी नाइस चॉकलेट ब्राउन कलर I just show it to you. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. So I know you guys are beginner, so you can just use your ring finger like this. Dip your product like your finger like this into it and just start applying it on the crease so on the center here and then blend it out so very lightly start to apply it here so you see there is a slight bit of color coming to the eye that is exactly what we want if you want you can do this with the flat brush as well so just taking a little more see so take less build it up and applying it through now you can see i have a even base for my eyelids but this is a cream product meaning abhi ye crease ho sakta hai so i have to set it now for the eye shadow palette i'll be using this one from swiss beauty this is very very affordable and beginner friendly you can see it have beautiful shades so i'm going to pick up a brown color which is the middle one right here and set my eyelids with this so it matte ho jayega and it won't move at all so just me running my finger once and applying this color all over my eyelids very very lightly that's about it just blend it so now you can see it's matte it won't move repeating the same thing on the other side very lightly dabbing it so that it doesn't move Now if you ask me personally you can just coat some mascara on it and call it a day but since we are doing a tutorial here we will show you more things to do with it so now what you can do is you can take a darker color which is this one dark brown on a fluffy brush like this pick up the product dust off the excess and just apply it on the outer like this part of your eyes very lightly so basically deepening up the outer corners can you see it's giving a little bit of structure to the eye very lightly blend it through as well so you can spot a difference right there so i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side and come back to you guys now i'm going to pick up this pink product pink eye shadow right here and just add it on the center for that pop of color this will give an amazing pop of color So just look at that, just on the centers of the eye. So you can obviously build up the pigment. Slight bit more. That's it. A little bit here as well, and blend it out. So I'm focusing more on the center and blending it out. That's it. 
Now we'll just add some mascara. Now I'm gonna take my mascara and start to apply it on the eyelashes. Remove the extra from the tip, pulling everything down and just pressing it upwards. Very lightly. And that's it, also on the lower lash line. Look at the difference a mascara makes. Never skip a mascara. So this is what the final look looks like. It's super simple, super easy, no foundation used. If you are a beginner, you go to college, office, or you're just starting out with makeup, this is what you can create. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, comment down below and let me know. Also, let me know what next you want to see and I'll be posting a lot of new content. Till then, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell notification and also I'm more active on Instagram so don't forget to follow me on Instagram.